can't believe you're drinking on the stream. We started. This is how you start. <laughs> I feel like I said I was starting the stream. No, no, <laughs> you did not. I think I think there was a good throw in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it was your fault for acting so ready for it. You gave me the signs. <laughs> You were giving me nothing in return. You weren't saying a no, word I was to me. Not. <laughs> you were like, I'm not going to participate today. So I'm not going to get, I'm not going to give in. I'm not going to do it. And I still got you. <laughs> Girl, one of these days. One of these days. <laughs> Listen, if you can't beat me while you're sitting next to me while I'm pushing the button. That's why you're doing it, huh? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you could just be here in person. We could do an in person Jess. episode. Hey, Jess. No, nope. I'll do that. She'll take away my face. <laughs> Drinking. Start of the show. I can't believe it. Twice. I've got to drink. I've got to drink. <laughs> I'm on a podcast with you. <laughs> I've got to Fair drink. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Um, as I recall, <laughs> you did an entire episode where you drank a can of Brick Tree Brew beer and like. Like, it did sponsorships for it. Hashtag Brick Tree Brewery. Drink the tree. Brick Tree. So, you know what? Throw your shade somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I recall all of that was cut by our lovely editor who won't let me have my sponsorship. Oh, he hates me. Our editor hates us. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, mm, so he moist. does like a really. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so good. <laughs> as, as you could tell, we did watch the episode that just released on YouTube. And if you mm -hmm. haven't, go mm -hmm. to uh, the Dondero Streams TV and check out the episode that just released. It's nicely edited. It's well put together. It has all the funny bits and a bunch of surprises. And and a bunch of surprises at the that end. Apparent, that apparently our editor felt like that he had the right to do. Okay. He did. Fine. Yeah. I I stand very firm against being censored moist. And I don't think I should ever <laughs> I be moist too, censored. Moist. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like if you moist censor me, I, know, I will I moist overreact moist. <laughs> and make it very moist annoying for you. <laughs> And, John, we do plan on doing this the entire episode, so just strap in, buddy. <laughs> it's going to be moist. <laughs> it's this whole episode. Just <laughs> it's the moistest it's episode ever. Ever. <laughs> That's Actually, what we should we'll, title it. <laughs> no, I've already titled it. I, went, I worked real hard on it. It's the art of the spin. Okay. Don't make me turn the podcast <laughs> around. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are acting up. <laughs> yeah. Just for that, we're not getting ice cream afterwards. I'm gonna turn Dang my camera down it. a little bit. I'm a little hot. Hey, hey, no, a little up, a little up. A little bit orange. There we go. Oh, yeah, I'm looking good. I'm looking moist. Yeah. So, uh, what are we doing this week? Uh, I know. I I don't know. This, you you were you said you you said you were taking it. Mm -hmm. I know. Well, I mean, you're the smart one. You usually do, you usually I'm work better the, than I I'm do. I'm the smart one and the pretty one. What do you bring to the table? Uh, uh, that was going to be a good burp, and it just didn't come out. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. It was going to be good, but it didn't come I bring out. I bring moist activities like water, drinking water, mm. drinking water. Yeah. That's a moist activity. <laughs> Help. <laughs> You, could you send them to their room to take away their electronics? Yes. Get the sleep room. <laughs> <laughs> Beer from me said, I can't tell if I'm aroused or afraid. But <laughs> Yes, yes. It's pretty common when watching these two. Yes, you should be scaroused. <laughs> Scarousal. 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 All right. So this week we're all talking about uh, we're heading into uh, one of my favorite zones. It's not a safe zone. It's not a plain zone. It's not even a moist zone. It's the danger zone. 
we're handling scandals. And uh, the reason we're handling them, uh, given the current climate of the world, one, we need to teach you how to avoid scandals. And two... If you're avoiding you, scandals, you're not having fun. Well, yeah. Uh, and two... Allegedly. Uh, when you do have a scandal, uh, how do you put a spin on it? And Arugs, oh, we had this conversation. Have you ever been near a moist zone, Don Darrow? Yes. Uh, the zone was very moist. It was almost uh, moist Sean light. is going to... Okay, we need to give it a break for at least five minutes. Yeah, Just this is minutes. going to be the shortest edit ever. It's going to be like, <laughs> start the credits, and then the end credits. <laughs> It's going to be the lost episode. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. It just got deleted. <laughs> it's okay. I download all the episodes too. Oh, okay. I can no, do let's, give him, let's give him a break. I will give him a break, but I'm just saying, if he fucks us on this, I'm doing the moist cut. It is literally just a cut of every time we say that word. <laughs> I feel like now I'm in a pissing contest. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't feel safe. <laughs> Listen, do you know what happens when you safe. censor me? Pineapples, pineapples. <laughs> Listen, do you know what happens when you censor me? Oh, I'd I go off. <laughs> do you know how hard it was to censor me during that trailer? I had to censor myself because I was making a trailer that we could show on ads. So I had to censor the word fuck. I know. I saw that. That was good. It killed me. It killed me in my heart. I, That's I why I put two poop cloops it. You know what kills in me in my heart? The fact that you like black licorice and circus peanuts. Are we really going to start this right now? Do you want, <laughs> do you want to start this right now? Because mm-hmm. I will leave this podcast, go to the fucking store, get a whole bag of both, and do just it. rub them on my face and genitals. <laughs> and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go downstairs and get that nice gallon-sized jar of pickles I have, and I'm going <laughs> to eat them. So <laughs> come at me, brah. <laughs> right, right. You just wait till Wednesday. I got plans. Yeah. Call on all weaves and dweebs. Bring your pickles. Wednesday it is. All right. Uh, speaking of Wednesdays, <laughs> let's talk scandals. I'm going to give you a scandal that potentially could happen to this company or has happened in the past. You have <sighs> two jobs. No, you told me. You told me you were the spin doctor. I am the spin I told doctor. you no one's better... Um, Whipping that spin than me, and you're like, oh, oh, oh have you been? Oh, 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 okay, oh, okay. Oh, 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 please. There it is, right there. Uh, so I'm going to give you scenarios, and you have to put a spin on it, okay? And you have to tell me whether or not you think this scandal has actually happened to me in the past. Allegedly. Allegedly. If you could put a little, a uh, little flash. Every time I tell something, uh, Sean, if you could just put a little flash that says allegedly at the bottom of the screen, appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> for future proofing, okay? So I can later, when you find out these are true or false, I could go allegedly because it says it right there. Scenario one. I have become incredibly intoxicated in an event. I am borderline. Like every event? Every yeah. event? I am okay. borderline belligerent. Like right there at the border. Like every time you I, drunk. okay. <laughs> I have just realized that I still have the strength to flip a table during a panel. I flip said table with everyone's beverage, no warning, and then go, I can't believe I did it, and leave. One, mm-hmm. how do you put a spin on that? How do I put a spin on that? Yeah. I was drunk at a convention and I flipped a table during a panel. Full room. Do they know you're In front of everyone. (laughs) I mean, you're right. You're right. Okay. How I put it. I had an alcoholic beverage on the table. So what happened was that was in response. To the fact that you've got some very disturbing news about your family before the the panel. So to drown the emotions, you went and got drunk. And it was all the, the alcohol caused you to have just been unable to control your emotions. You had a reaction. It triggered it. And you walked out. Okay. 
Now, do you think this is a true event? Oh, yeah, because you told the story before. Okay, yeah, it's a true event. Um, This is the spin on it. No, that's a different story. You're thinking of the down by the lake? No. You okay, flipped good. The one. You flipped a table. You've told yes. me. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's a horrible spin. Do you know what my spin was? I am Don Darrow. Hear me roar. And how badass was that? And that's <laughs> what my statement was. Because of course it was. Because so true. True of it. And it was filmed. And it's still on my Facebook page somewhere. And Along with I, the video. And I bet that there's no longer alcohol allowed at panels anymore. No. In fact, we found cooler and better ways of flipping tables the rest of the convention. I flipped a table with a bullwhip from across the room. I will post that video in our um, Twitter feed. Okay. 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 <laughs> Mm, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a sidebar. Okay, okay. As as uh, as a person who has coordinated events before, run events before, you're the assholes I don't want back in there. Get like flipping freaking tables and like causing mind you, all my crew, myself and my crew cleaned the, the area. The convention people actually had to do zero things other than tell a Dondero story. Well, good. Because you're the ones I'm I like, spun oh, it. these people. They used to pay us. They literally used to pay our bar tabs just to have us come to conventions. Yeah. They wanted drunk shenanigans and drunk John at events. All right. You go to different conventions than I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, scenario number two. Okay. A photo has surfaced. Of me kissing somebody who looks just like Adolf Hitler. It gets worse. My normal facial hair, I have shaved the part of his mustache out so our mustaches interlock and become one. How do you. (laughs) I'm having this visual. No, stop. Hold on. Oh, I have this visual. Okay, that's gross. Okay. Yeah, it's glorious. How do you spin that? There is no spinning that. <laughs> there is. I thought you were the best. No spinning it. I thought you were the absolute best at spin. No, oh, sometimes you just gotta give up. <laughs> uh, How do you spin see? you kissing Hitler and your like shade mustache? How do I do that? Hold on. I won World War II with the gay love. Ladies and gentlemen, we're dealing with technical difficulties. It's called parenting. Parenting 101. Ah. How do you spin that? This is exactly how you spin this. I defeated the Axis allies by turning them all gay, and it was wonderfully happy. Yay for gay! Spun. You paint some, um, you paint some uh, pride on there. There you go. I've, I've got no words. <laughs> and you can't be mad. You have no words. You're just so shocked that you're just like, and then your mind resets and you've completely forgot what we were talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. All right. Now you have to tell me. And now you question. Now you question why I drink on this. Oh, no, I never questioned that. Okay. Just All right. Sure. Uh, I'm looking for a picture for one of our other um, things for unrelated uh, thing that I'm going to post later. Uh, do you think that scenario was true? No. Really? That's- no, it's not true. I never oh, kissed Adolf I was Hitler. Like, I, what? More or less. Okay. Let me take this back. I would kiss Adolf Hitler because I'm not afraid to show my uh, masculinity and um, just be who I am. Okay? Everyone deserves love. Two, no, I would never shave my beard like that. It's ridiculous. (laughs) God, weird. All right. He likes to get distracted. 
and do no, other I'm not things distracted. while we're on our podcast. This because- is for the podcast. This is for the podcast. I've got to find a picture. I thought I had it on my computer and I don't. So I had to find it on my phone real quick. This is for a thing. Very important thing. Anyway, scenario number two. I am at an event uh, mm-hmm. with somebody there I notoriously do not get along with. Everyone knows we hate each other. Jay? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. This is a partner of a another industry that I work in at the same event as me in the same city. We have both been booked as guests, and we are now forced to be on a panel. During said panel, both of us who have been drinking start exchanging quips to start to escalate to the point that we're screaming curse words at each other, threatening to throw fists at each other until we literally lunge at each other across the table during a panel in front of everyone. How do you spin that? Well, you have fun with that while I find my picture. It's a good picture. <laughs> How do you spin that? Well, I, I mean, knowing you, it's just egos. Narc- two chauvinistic, narcissistic alpha males just trying to prove that they are better than the other person. And the f- <laughs> emotions just ran high. All right. You want to have we spin it? Yeah. Why, yeah you know what? It. I feel like I'm going to school because apparently I can't spin it, things like that as well. Because I don't know. Apparent. I, I want to tell you. I want to tell you how I would spin it. Okay. Let's do what. Let's do this way. First of all, do you think it's through true? No. Hundred percent true. What? Mm-hmm. Me I and can't Torch, imagine Monster you Con. getting. Um. That's how we announced our partnership. We stage a fight, told no one but the uh, support staff at the convention. The audience didn't know. The people on the panel didn't know. It was an entire stage event because the rumor was floating around that me and Torch hated each other. So we fed, we spent the weekend feeding the flames of hatred. Was this the same weekend you allegedly ended up down by the lake? No, 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 no. This is, this is literally the okay. start. Oh, okay. The start of a single sales partnership with uh, Dondero, 13th Floor Effect, was, which was my production company at the time. Um, <clears throat> we had worked on a project together, but for years, there's always been a rumor that we hated each other moist. because... <laughs> moisty, moist, moist. We'd always hated each <laughs> other because we were never seen in the same room at the same time. Mm-hmm. At same events. It just never lined up. So we partnered up. We we talked about the rumors that we had heard. We came up with the great plan to literally fuel the fire. We staged a panel for Saturday night at 9 p.m. Spent the entire weekend just being like, I can't believe that fucker Torch is here. I have to be on a panel with him. That prick is going to do. We had him show up five minutes late so I could make a snide comment. And he would snide back. We orchestrated the whole thing to literally led down to a knockdown drag knuckle fight on main stage on the thing while the panelists in the middle of us, who was a makeup artist that we worked with, both of us separately, who we really planned this fuels, cried. Oh. Grown ass man. Grown ass man. <laughs> so true. I obviously have not lived as colorful a life as you have. I, I, yeah, hey, hey, I, hey, I'm sending a hey, picture. Hey, okay. I'm paying attention. <laughs> I'm sending a picture to uh, myself and then I'm going to send it to you so you can look at it uh, once. I have get it on my computer. So I'm going to show the audience and show them. This is for like our last one we're going to do. Where the shit is me? It's hard to send a picture from my phone to... Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I know that you have <laughs> sent 
sign on and expect it was a certain quality to Don Darrowing 101. Apparently, we are quintessential Don Darrowing today. Nothing like no focus, you know. No, there's lots of focus. I have all the focus. All the focus. Uh, view, say, scenario number four. Um... Yeah, legit, I have, Nev, huh? legit. <laughs> it's, hurt, it's not hurting cats tonight. It's directing goldfish. Not true. What? <laughs> not true. I am not a cat. Okay. Scenario number four. A photo emerges on social media of me at a uh, hentai photo shoot. I'm talking tentacle porn. On the set in a lab coat with the actress behind me, tentacles all over me. Spin it as a production company. Now we do streaming and, we, you know, trying to uh, be all professional. Spin that photo surfacing. That's easy. It's Go just for it. you. It's just you for our new promotion with Dinks with Kinks. <gasps> oh, that's a really good one. Ah, you know what? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> also, okay. True or false? Did that happen to me? False. No. Bam. True. There's the photo. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it's true. I forgot that you worked in that industry. Oh, yeah. I, see the, I can't I actually, see the photo because there's a delay. I know. Hold on. I'm going to send it to you as well. I'm going to forward. Oh, there it is. Yeah, good photo. I had a really good beard that year. Uh, those fake tentacles were brought to by Torch. Uh, he, he brought them. Uh, it was fun. We were promoting uh, some NerdCon stuff, some fet, FetCon nerd shit. Thanks with kinks. Uh, Nev, yeah, yeah Nev was like, I at least remember the model behind you. I think I remember the show. He, Nev was there. Nev was with me. Nev, Nev was the other camera guy. Nice. Yeah, that was a fun day. We shotgunned so many damn beers. I was burping a lot. Okay. We were also doing we were also doing a photo shoot for me uh -huh. as a doctor or something. I was playing a doctor for a horror VR. Dr. Warlock. I was playing Dr. Warlock. And I was drinking beer a lot. And they kept handing me a fresh beer for the photo that I had to drink. Like I had to take a photo like this and I can't just hold beverages on my look. So I just keep drinking beer. And so we'd be halfway through and I would just. Mm. There's that. All right. I, I'm the only person in uh, that works for Don Dara streams that has not done type of. <laughs> like. Fetish, like y'all were in purgatory, and That's like true. You, Jay, Jay helped you with their puppets, and mm -hmm. and Jay worked. Jay worked at Single Cell. He was head of security for a while. I mean, <laughs> was a go-go dancer. Nev was Nev was the guardian of the door. Oh, Dude, no, you no. didn't get by Nev. Nev saw everything. Nev, okay. Why am I, I here? Finally, I have. I finally have the metaphor who Nev is. He is the sword holder in Thor, who has the eyes that can see everything. He That's Nev. Is hundred percent. I know who Nev is now. Right. Yeah. Why are you here? Because you're smart and you're funny, and you know you got that pretty thing going on too. You you got like the whole lather of everything. And I can make your eyebrows raise by saying the word merch. Moist merch. <laughs> Tooper. Uh, Sean, we love you. You're amazing. We only do this because it was like what you did on the was so amazing. We just. And <laughs> it was. It like he like. We both laughed until our stomachs like hurt. <laughs> um, actually, Sean, if you really want to know who to blame, it's a ruse because I had no idea. I hadn't watched the episode. I didn't know. I had no idea because I was editing our new cool poster 
uh, for uh, Don Daring 101. And I got on and Aruja's was like, have you seen Don Daring 101 yet? And I'm like, no, I haven't had a chance yet. She's like, watching her at the end. Sean did a thing. I sold you out, Arugs. I told I told Sean. I told Sean of your moist evil plans. <laughs> and that's how I get everyone mad at me. Because if you're not creating scandals, you're just not doing it right. Okay. You, okay. So all, all right. of that. Do you have things. a scandal? Do you, give, I tell you what, give me a scandal and I will spin it. Videos come out of you involved with a man, a woman, and a horse in asexual nature. What do you do? I'm Don Darrow. Hear me roar. Oh my God, that's going to be your answer for everything. Tell me it's not a wrong answer. I mean, t tell me that's a wrong answer. Damn it, Don Darrow! <laughs> Actually, that was the company slogan for many years. Damn it, Don Darrow. Uh, it was a sweaty, moist time. Now, am I fucking the horse or am I fucking people riding the horse? I never said. I just said sexual nature. Okay, cool. I'm jacking off while riding a horse while two people chase me on a... Uh, Oh, no way. Where is your brain? Whoa. Listen, I actually could probably make this happen. I know people with horses. Wah, wah. 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 <laughs> okay. Wah. Why? Wah. I'm Don Darrow. Hear me roar. Okay. What kind of scandal would I be in? Okay. What, what kind mm. of scale do you think I'd be in? Oh, shit. Uh... You were caught masturbating at an office supply store to pictures of spreadsheets. <laughs> I can almost see that happening. <laughs> right? <clears throat> oh, office supply stores are... Are just, they're yeah, crazy. you were getting your freak on in an office supply store. They had a sale on uh, organized <laughs> binders, and you were just like, <gasps> <sighs> <laughs> like legit a good pen. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and that's the scandal. Mm -hmm. So this is how I would spin that. <laughs> I mean, a rugs be a rugs. You took the money. Because the best scandals are scandals that you just kind of own, unless they're horrible, unless they're like hurtful to some people, because then we'll fucking burn your ass. I could tell you about some scandals that we were just like, oh no, we're, we're fine. Set his ass on fire. What can we do to help? <laughs> we, we've had some people who will remain, who will remain nameless. Uh, because after what we did, we were like, we won't mention his name anymore. But he starred in one of our productions, and he hooked up with an underage chick. Do you see Nev? Spin. She was performing specialty product testing. She is a secret shopper. Nev is a spin doctor. So I mean, anyway, well, we had somebody. Okay, say go ahead. Yeah, we had somebody hook up with an underage person, give them alcohol. They didn't hook up like sexual, but they were giving them alcohol in the hopes that that would happen. Not only did we were call the police, we were like, we will tell you all the information you want. That fucker is dead to us. He will never work with us again. We had no idea. And we didn't spend the shit out of that. We were just like, stop. No, burn that ass. Because that's a fucking scandal you just don't do. Flip a fucking table. Do tentacle porn. Kiss Adolf Hitler with your mustache combed out so it'll fit nicely in. Those are cool. Don't fuck with minors and don't assault people. Unless it's torch. You can always assault torch. It's in this contract. Just punch him. Punch him right in the face. Love that dude. Salt of the earth. 
Just punch him right in the face. I remember that. What? Okay. Now let me ask you a question. What scandal do you worry about happening with me? Like, honest to God, you worked with me long enough. No, there won't be a scandal. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, the only scandal I could ever think is embezzlement. I don't even know where my actual money is. <laughs> Well, because that would be the thing, or tax evasion, because like you don't you don't put do our taxes, like you know. No, here's the reason. There's a reason I don't do taxes. I mean, like the, when tax time comes, I'm gonna be like, "Yo, Ruth, what's up? How you doing? Where's that? Where, where's those organized forms you already have filled out? I know you have them. I know you've already filled our taxes out for the next fifteen years. Um, or and embezzlement. I don't even know where my wallet is right now. Like, if you asked me for like any type of money from the company or me, I'd be like. Dude, I don't, I don't know. I literally bummed a dollar for a soda earlier. <laughs> okay, or um, I would, I would honestly drive. Oh wait, uh, Nev. Disclaimer: This stream does not endorse personal violence against any persons, and any claims by this host are for convenient purposes only. You were correct. Do not punch Torch. <laughs> I don't even know Torch. I'm just so. kidding. Torch is a great guy. Uh, he's getting older now. Do not punch him. Uh, he's a I good feel friend like of we mine. need to, that, Sean, get on that. We need to put a disclaimer before every podcast now. I feel like that's where we're at. Yeah, we're probably at that point now where we need a disclaimer. And it better say allegedly under this entire episode. Allegedly. Yeah, that's just allegedly. a overlay. <laughs> but yes, uh, Sean put uh, Nev's comment as a disclaimer. Just put that in big levers over my face as I describe how you should probably punch Torch if you run into him in person because I love him. Um, their disclaimer should be there the entire time. I agree. All right. So you actually see me doing something like business shady, like tax evasion or embezzlement or hardcore drugs like meth or cocaine. Okay. It's a funny story about cocaine. Can't do cocaine because it'll make my heart explode. But I had a friend who tried cocaine and fell asleep in a bathroom while pooping. In a public bathroom, I might add, at a convention. We found him three hours later, and they're like, he's asleep in a stall. I'm not going to tell you who it was, but uh, yeah, he just fell asleep in a stall. He did cocaine for the first time. He was drinking, pass out in a stall while pooping in a public bathroom. We were so proud of him. I have lived a very boring life, apparently. <laughs> what? I, I have lived a very boring life, apparently. Nah, we just partied like rock stars. Nerdy, nerdy ass rock stars. You know, we carried around our Dungeons and Dragons dice, and in the other box was just weed. Nice. Very Lots nice. of drugs and dice. Okay, anyway. honestly, what scandal do you think I would like in real life? God, I don't even know. You are not the scandalous type. Maybe a Tardry affair? Maybe. It's one of the things, it'd have to be something that we didn't see coming. Because I honestly, you would take the money. You would take the money and run. You would actually do it for real. We would let you do our taxes. And then like five years down the road, we find out that not only our company has made a lot more money, none of it was ever claimed and none of us saw a cent. A roof has gone and retired like, in, in, the, like in the Caribbean. There are like three offshore accounts. Yeah. That's the scandal I see. Like five years later, I'm like, okay, well, I I feel like I am, am mental exhaustion and I just need to take a break. And and the sad part is, I don't think we'll be able to approve it for another 20 years. <laughs> so 25 years from now, just saying, called it. <laughs> no, I would never I told do you that. affair with Tom Felton from a Harry Potter. See, you make that face, but I don't think you'd turn. I don't think you'd kick him out of bed. I think he'd be like, all right, yeah, well, I mean, you were makeup. You, 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 you were, uh, you were Slytherin. We're Slytherin. We could do Slytherin shit. I feel like that is houseist. I feel like that's not okay. <laughs> judge me. Judge me. I feel me like it's house. plenty okay. No, no, it's not. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Some of my favorite people are Ravenclaws, actually. Well, 
That's just um, poor uh, friendship on your part, I think. Anyway, okay. Another scenario for you. Uh, okay. You find out, or it comes to light, that I have started a furry homosexual OnlyFans where it is literally just me and um, Jay with strips of fur taped to our bodies just royally pounding each other. Just going to town on each other. Me and Jay. Jay from our stream, our podcast. Just okay, okay, pounding but holes. See, here's the thing. Each other's holes. Are you doing it personally or for the company? Oh, see, that's, a, that's a good point because we could legitly do that for the company and not be a scandal. It's just literally a stunt we did for the company. Okay, we did it before we started. It wasn't for the company. Me and Jay are just secret furries that like to take tufts of fur to us and just pound each other. <laughs> Never said that does not need spin. That needs marketing. <laughs> I know. I was like, uh, next time on Dinks with Kinks. <laughs> not this week's episode, but I think there is a furry episode coming out eventually. Oh, is there? Check out Dinks with Kinks uh, every Saturday night at one. I mean, every Saturday, everywhere wherever you listen to podcasts. Maybe, Boom. maybe, maybe John will get the audio right. <laughs> John won't get the audio right because certain people named Shep uh, don't label their uh, label the audio exactly oh, while label the episodes. Oh, throwing Shep under the bus. Actually, that's on me because I did name the file. So, but still, I want to blame Shep. That's not nice. I'm Dondero. Hear me roar. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Listen. That shit train is always running at me, okay? <laughs> I think I, I... Okay, okay. I think the reason that I can't spin major crazy... Like, I can spin under... I can actually... My better is to av <laughs> avoid crazy. Like, I can head it off at the pass. Preemptively, like... Oh, uh, no. Things are going bad. I just want you Things to take a good look around the set you're on. I want you to take a look to your right to see who the ho who your co-host is. You are like ass deep and crazy right now, okay? You are on a show literally called Don Daring 101 where I just confessed to public destruction of property, all public before, intoxication, but John, making, making all, hentai all before me. So what you're saying is I need to step up my game. What I'm saying is you haven't done that since I've been streaming with you. God, that sounds like a challenge. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, whew. It's going to be a fun <laughs> week, guys. <laughs> yeah? Oh, I'm, yeah. I am just <laughs> saying... You haven't done anything scandalous since I've been a part of Don Darrow Streams. Tune in Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. for the weebs, <laughs> the dweebs, and the interweebs. I promise it's going to get weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, really weird. Like, uncomfortably weird. I have apparently been challenged uh, to step up my scandalous game. What is happening? Nev wants to know what we're doing Wednesday. What are we doing Wednesday? Oh, my God. <laughs> we're going to be giving advice. It's Good. Gonna be the, it's going to be the dear weebs and dweebs instead of dear Abby. Okay. And just so you know, we will ask you again on Wednesday. I know. In the morning. I know. Sometime in late afternoon. Yeah, I know. And about two seconds after we go live. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. And like three times after that, like, so what are we doing? Are we <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? <sighs> what I really love is that we've gotten a really good habit of you explaining what we're going to do. And Nev, <laughs> Nev especially, will go, all right, so what are we doing? <laughs> but I think, I think Wednesday is going to be a very special episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, is it? Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Don't you bet? Don't you know? Oh, yeah. You betcha. Oh, you betcha. Don't oh, you know? Oh, don't you yeah. know? It's going to be scant. Look how red I am today. I'm red. I'm flush. I was making cool posters for our merch store. Can I show my poster on the stream? Can I can I put it on the stream? Yes. I can. I can. I can. It's going to get really big because I don't have a small version of it. But then I'll scale it down. And uh, boom, look how big that sucker is. All right, I'm going to make it invisible and scale it. Because when you make stuff for the merch store, you got to do like the big shit. It's really big. It's really so big. Is it I don't think you can handle how big it is. Is it so big? It's so big. It's so, so big. moist and so big. Aww. So big. Boom, there it is. Done during 101 poster. Uh, from the merch episode. I finally finished it. Um, by the way, probably my favorite poster right now. I'm in love with that poster. You worked so hard on it. No, nah, not really. That's pretty much what my desk looks like at work. Hmm. That's, that's a picture of my desk. <laughs> All right. So I think we've covered scandals pretty well. I will say this. You are a pretty good spin, spin artist. I mean, I don't feel like you could have, I think we would have broke you pretty quickly back in the old days. Because you've been like, uh, nope, I'm just out. Washing my hands. You strike me as somebody who would be like, no, nah, I'm open out that okay. situation. All right. Here's the deal, though. Here's the deal. I have spent. <laughs> God, you would think I just said merch. <laughs> <laughs> so I have spent 20 years of my life spinning everything. I like even if you flipped a table, I would be like, I, I would have gone all like drill sergeant on your ass. I would have grabbed you up by the collar, slammed you up against the wall, said, You sit, <laughs> hydrate. And then I would have gone and talked to people. <laughs> like, that's what I would have done. That's how I normally handle situations like that. That is true. But that, that <laughs> kind of hand, that kind of hand would not have like fared well because. After said table flipping, it was at the end of the panel. It was like the grand finale of that panel. Mm -hmm. People stood up. They cheered. It was insane. It was like the total geeky rock star move. It was smashing the guitars on stage mm -hmm. moment. Did you come back and take a bow? No, I just stumbled away. What did away. you do? Yeah, I you stomped, stomped away. away. I, Actually, I had another panel to go to, so I stumbled out the door. Okay, another scenario for you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> we're doing a panel. Okay, let's say we're doing a podcast panel at a convention. Okay. We're all together. Mm -hmm. So on, on to a more important thing. Why is there no micropene fanny pack? It's coming. I Is promised. I I promised. I promised. Okay. I will not All let right. You know. Just saying. Just saying. That wasn't that wasn't a statement for me. That was a statement for a more loyal fan base. Mm -hmm. Dondero needs a handler. I actually have handlers at conventions. Uh our first episode of the Would You Will? Who the fuck do you think I am? That's what I yeah, do I was like, every day. <laughs> Arouge is literally my handler. Uh she is my current incarnation. So far. Best handler so far, but she hasn't seen me. She hasn't had to handle me at a convention, so we'll see how that goes. You haven't anyway, seen okay. me at a convention either. So scenario, we're doing a Weebs and Dweeds podcast panel live at a convention. Mm -hmm. During said panel, you hear the distinct sound of my belt hitting the ground behind the table. You realize that I have just slipped off my pants. Mm-hmm. And I'm about to stand up to make a point with no pants on. 
before you, you can no, are before you, you can get me? up. Are you sitting no, beside me? There's no way. There's no way I would ever do that. I'm gonna sit next to Mika, who will only encourage that behavior, and Jay, <laughs> who is powerless to stop said behavior. Mm. No, I'm see, smart. See, John, that is where you would be wrong because I, again, am good about heading shit off at the pass and I would have set you right beside me like an ill behaved child. And every time, like, I literally would grab you by the leg hairs. I never <laughs> right. I do have handlers that usually quit halfway through and everybody but Christy has quit halfway through handling, trying to handle me to convention. Christy's the only person who's ever survived me for multiple conventions. And uh, she could literally sit me down in a corner like a child. But, okay, so pants come down. I stand up in front of the entire audience, currently saying, I am Don Duro, and I have no path. Spin. He's also Don Duro, and he has no dick, so that's fine, too, so it doesn't make it sexual. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna hand it to you. That's good. That's good. <laughs> the panel would be musical chairs as Dondero tries to get away from a Rugs. 100% right. Uh, the reason I ask this is because I have done this at a panel. Mm -hmm. I imagine you have. <laughs> I have been pantsless on many panels, including the pantsless panel, which is a panel well, about that's... the pros and cons of not wearing pants. But I have removed my pants on many, many panels and used that to further my point, I think uh, the last panel I did it at was the Nega panel, the Negatory panel. Uh, it was with Dana Ward, and it was something about going back in time and fucking your mom doesn't make me your dad. We were talking about Star Trek, oh. the new Star Trek reboot, okay. about how you change the universe, and my argument was, and I can't, I can't remember what my argument was. But I remember throwing my pants into the crowd going, standing up and going, just because I go back in time and fuck your mom doesn't make me your dad. And then stormed out. Mm-hmm. Didn't, you know, unrelated news, stolen Don Darrow worn pants coming soon to the merch store. Oh my God, yes. That spin right there. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you a little secret working with me. Don't try to prevent the madness. Just lean into said madness. Lean into it. Let the madness be. Let the magic wash over you. Hey, John. Yes. John, I'm going to clue you in on a little secret. Oh, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Don't underestimate my manipulative powers. Oh, I don't. Again, sounds like a challenge. Also, Arugs, I got a secret for you. Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready for this? Oh, no. Put your, put your headphones back in. You need to hear this. <laughs> I, I have Please. one of them in. Good. Moist. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> um, you got you to gotta just run with the madness. Just lean into it. Or... Or, 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 I could use the madness to my advantage. And see, when you're spinning out of control. Which is often. I just push you in the direction I want you to go. I like it. You know what? That works. That is a successful way to spin. Because I am like the Tasmanian devil. I'm in constant you spiral uh, of madness. To call that you, I like said, the super bouncy ball. That's what, what I uh, every time I see you, like those are those uber bounce, like you just literally just sm just drop it, just, you don't have to throw it, and it just goes everywhere. I do that, I do that, especially conventions. By the way, mm -hmm. when COVID's over, can uh, we fly you and Nev here and do actual conventions? The weebs, dweebs, I want to fly you and Nev. I'm gonna make Jay drive his ass because I, 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 I don't. Or Nev can just like come to Houston and we drive and pick Jay up. <laughs> and we do conventions together. Because I want one, I want to get Nev back in Charlotte because I miss Nev. I want to get you back in Charlotte because I miss you. I was like. Jay, I could take or leave. Um, 
I mean, I see him about as much as I did when he lived here. Um, actually, more because now we're on like a, a weekly show together. Uh, and, and he's, he's my best friend. Guy. Yeah. I see him more than when we were roommates. Flubber. But yes, it's Flubber. I'm Flubber. Yes. Mm. I will never try <laughs> and do... <laughs> Try to control the chaos. Listen, that's what I want. This is what I wanted to learn from this episode. I will never try and control the chaos. Don't try to spin madness. Because if you spin madness, you're just going to get wrapped up in it. You're just going to get coiled around. And then like I'm all tied up in a rugs. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> see what happens when you try to control that madness it just before you know it you're wrapped up in it and then suddenly you don't realize that it was actually not madness but a clever ploy by me to take you completely off guard <gasps> what that job okay I see your fingers I was just trying twitching. to convince you. I know. No, your fi your fingers are twitching. You <laughs> you okay, can't listen. sit still. You're right. I can't. Um, my face is so red, and I don't think it's the camera. I think I'm flush. <laughs> the madness is in my brain. Mm -hmm. So, what do you what do you think of the scandals of the past of the history of Dondero? Like. What what is your takeaway from that? Going further, you know, go, going further into the future with us as like streaming, because you can get away with a lot more on the internet. Uh, potential live events, just working in an office together. I want to know: Are you still on board? Do we still got you? Pineapple. That's why you always have a safe word. <laughs> 